Please take a few minutes to pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, please bless me with your love and guidance and forgive me for my sins. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear child, please listen and pay close attention. This is not the way to pray. This type of prayer is wrong. Our Father in heaven cannot hear you when you speak out loud like this, so let me teach you how to communicate with him. In the Bible, Matthew 6 verse 6 says, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. What this means is that you must enter the darkness, the closet, of meditation to pray. Remember that you are energy, and when you meditate, you slow down the energy field and collapse the wave. This breaks down the barriers that stand between you and our Father in heaven, and then, and only then, He can hear you loud and clear. However, true prayer is not about speaking to our Father, it is about listening. When you are in meditation, the carnal mind is silent, and our Father can communicate with you. You will be enveloped with love and filled with light. The troubles of yesterday may still be there, but they will not bother you as much, because your ark is now fortified with the strength of source energy. Human beings are not just human beings. I say in Psalm 82 verse 8 that you are gods for this reason. When you shut down your human mind, your God mind is all that is left. When you are in this state, you are able to communicate with God, and it also lowers your resistance so that the things you are attempting to manifest through visualization, can reach you sooner, and your path of least resistance will be presented to you. You will need to use your intuition, which is your internal guidance system, to guide you to this path. The more you meditate, the stronger, your intuitive guidance will become. This is your true guardian angel. Also, please do not say, I ask all things in Jesus' name, because first of all my name is not Jesus. It is Yeshua. Nice to finally meet you. When you pray, do not speak out loud. Be quiet and communicate with God during meditation using energy and listen. It is only when the internal chatter of the mind is vanquished, that you can truly commune with the energy that you refer to as God in the manner that was intended. You knew all of this before you came into this current body, but the veil of forgetfulness was placed upon you so that you can't remember. The problem is that my true way is not taught correctly. The religious leaders on this planet want to remain in control, so they do not tell you these things, dear child, but it is my universal duty, guided by our Father in heaven, to teach you these things so I hope you are listening. I love you and through me all things are possible because you are me and I am you. John 14 verse 20 At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Lastly, when the Bible instructs you to ask in my name, please remember that the Bible is mystical literature, and name always means way and please do not forget for one millisecond that my way is meditation. It's my way or the highway because the highway is also a symbol for meditation and mysticism and until you realize this one truth about the way things are you are going to keep repeating the vicious cycle that has trapped you for lifetimes. It is time to release and let go. Surrender to our Father in heaven and things will be become clear. You will become just as a drop of rain falling from a cloud to the ocean with no fear because you will know that you are about to become part of something bigger so get ready. The only true sin in the eyes of God is to deny the God that dwelleth within you by refusing to meditate. I'll see you soon.